This is not the video that I had planned to do this week. But I guess this is the video I'm going to do. If you have any of these server rack lithium ion batteries from LG, there were a ton of these for sale a couple years back at really good prices. And then they all disappeared somehow. Well, there's a reason for that. These batteries were originally in energy storage facilities in Korea. They stored energy from solar and, I don't know, other intermittent sources. This place, Battery Clearinghouse, in December 2019, issued a warning for people on this DIY solar power forum. And I really wish that I had seen the warning. Unfortunately, I don't think it, there was any warning anywhere else. Well, I guess there are these two stories, right? Korea IT Times Right, LG Chem stops ESS operation in the wake of a series of fires and recharge news. South Korean government unveils sweeping new measures after 23 blazes at storage systems. And, well, I can read the gist of it, it's not very big. ESS stands for Energy Storage Systems, basically huge power banks that look like server racks in a data center or densely packed in shipping container-like structure outside. LG Chem was a major producer of these types of ESS battery systems used all around the world. Their ESS product used a high-voltage lithium polymer battery pack. There were several different models and voltage types. There were several facility fires over the years, and they were traced back to these lithium polymer battery packs. It was discovered that there was a manufacturing defect in the design that could not be repaired. LG Chem shut down their entire ESS division and decommissioned all their ESS facilities. Then their customers also started decommissioning their facilities and within a few weeks there were truckloads of these batteries that need to be destroyed. As you would expect, some companies are expecting attempting to sell the battery packs to recyclers for reuse without disclosing the reason why they were pulled out of production. This saves them having to pay for destruction and disposal costs. And there are some photos of the units. And yeah, these are them. These are most definitely the batteries that I've had sitting in my house for three years now and have recently started charging and using them to drive the raft around. And I guess my plan now is, see, each of these 48-volt server rack mount packs has inside of it two of these 24 volt pouch cell packs and I've broken one of the three that I bought down and have been using these 24 volt packs to run the raft and I guess my plan now is to break down the other two server batteries and to put all six of these 24 volt packs on the raft permanently and that way they're out of the house if the raft and the dock burns well that would be disappointing but at least it didn't burn my house down so that's the plan and this is the video that 
I had planned to not make because of those batteries there.